Hey, what's up? So I want to talk about something new, interesting and really unique. This one. Uh, it's motor oil and it's amazing. Thanks for watching. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey, what's up, nerds? So let's talk about Final Cut 10 and eGPU in 2019. Of course, I have this card. This is the 580, uh, 8 gigs. But I also wanted to try a new, a kind of new card, this one. This is the RX 570, 4 gigs, and I wanted to see if this card can beat this card or how they perform in relation to each other. And I wanted to test two eGPUs at the same time. Let's see what happens. All right, now we're in Final Cut 10. This is a typical project, a real world project, just released yesterday, I think. And uh, it's FS7. Mostly A7R Mark III, shot in 4K and 1080 and 100 frames a second. This is a Phantom 4 shot. We have a few of those and some Mavic shots. So it's a typical mixture of codecs and footage. In terms of plugins, um, I used a few um, on a few shots. I used um, color board, color wheels. Uh, but also um, Magic Bullet looks to get this kind of depth of field look, um, tilt shift kind of look, mostly on the drone shots and sometimes Mojo to get a little bit more filmic, warm look in there. But most of the time it's this adjustment layer and there I have color wheels, color curve and vignette sharpening and a film lot and this is it so just normal stuff nothing fancy but not just uh, one little correction so it is a little bit intense and without an eGPU there would be no playback at all so this is the machine i'm on um, the basic 2016 macbook pro 15 inch with touch bar nothing fancy Mac OS is the current and Final Cut 10 is also the current version. I have the Sonnet breakaway box that is the basic model as well. There's the RX 580 in there and also I just got the Razer Core X which is the better box, has a better more powerful uh, power unit so it can handle the bigger cards that hopefully comes in tomorrow. And all is connected to Thunderbolt 3, two cables, and I will test both cards at the same time later. Also a quick word to the hard drives, because that's also important and a key factor sometimes with playback and render times. If you have a slow hard drive, stuff gets slow as well. So the footage is on a dual hard drive rate connected to USB-C 3.1. 300 megabytes a second read write is perfectly okay with HD and Ultra HD 4K ish sometimes. Yeah, it's all right. And I also export and render files and stuff like that. I have that on a dual SSD rate. Um, I have links to the, to the gear what I have in my edit room uh, on my kit page, a uh, link below. Okay, I did also some GPU benchmarks um, with the... I did that before actually and um, that was on 13.1 that was the first OS, that Mac OS that kind of supported eGPU but not fully, it was in like a beta version, whatever. And now, now we, I did this again. So you can see there is an improvement in terms of benchmark numbers at least. All right, so I did export times. Uh, I did export this project out of Final Cut 10. And what I did is just export a master file. In this case, I set it to ProS LT. This is my typical uh, workflow that I always export a ProS master. I usually don't export an H.264. So that is how uh, what I did. And I also exported at some point an HD H.264 clip just to see which card is used for what export and which GPU does actually improve certain export types. And especially in terms of comparing that to the Vega at some point, 
will help. All right, so here are the basic export times uh, with these cards and even with the internal card. And I did put uh, both GPU units to the work. So I connected both GPU boxes with separate Thunderbolt cables to my MacBook Pro and uh, it didn't really change anything. So right now I have two GPUs connected and interestingly Final Cut 10 only uses one really. The RX 580 that has no displays connected. The 570 drives all my displays now. Uh, that is interesting. So here we go. So interestingly, and now it uses the second card for the Final Cut noise reduction, it seems. That's the part of the clip where I have two clips with Final Cut noise reduction. It didn't use that for the Red Giant noise reduction though. So for certain effects, it uses the second card as well. Hmm. Yeah, and to confirm that, I just opened up a different project where I had clips with more Final Cut noise reduction. And indeed, it um, kind of switches to the second card for the Final Cut noise reduction. Interesting. So what really is uh, much smoother though is playback. Um, it uses both cards for that. That is really, really nice. Um, I did see quite a bit of improvement, even with all the effects going on with the sharpening, two color reels a lot, a color curve and stuff like that. It only struggles a bit with the magic bullet looks um, stuff with the depth, depth of fields, um, tilt shift stuff. Of course, that's a bit more intense and also I think not GPU optimized for the Mac. It only uses OpenCL or OpenGL, not quite sure. So um, if that would be metal, it would be better, I guess. Anyways, that's that's good. Playback performance really does improve with the second GPU. I mean, the RX 570 even was a bit, a little bit faster. I have more detailed uh, numbers in a minute, uh, but the two GPUs nah, didn't bring too much. I mean, it's like 10 seconds. That might be also a thing with the drives or, you know. So those are the numbers here in detail. Interestingly, I had two clips where I had noise reduction there and with the Red Giant noise reduction, which I thought would be the slower noise reduction, actually was faster and the Final Cut 10 noise reduction, even though it used the second card when connected to two GPUs, it's mostly one minute and 10 seconds slower. So that was interesting. And you can see the H.64 export is, yeah, a little bit more time consuming. And even there, the uh, two GPUs didn't really help with the export. So that is interesting, right? Basically, this RX 570 is as good as this RX 580. This has eight gigs, this has four. Uh, in terms of specs, it's basically almost the same. I mean, um, this card has like uh, 1360 megahertz uh, and this card is like 1200 or something. So basically 100 hertz less. And in terms of RAM, I mean, uh, this one is four gigs at 7,000 uh, megahertz, and this is eight gigs at 8,000. But then again, um, the, the RX 580 has like 2,304 processor units, and the RX 570 has 2,048, so like 300 less in terms of price uh, i checked today i have it here the rx 570 is around 140 euros in germany you can get a, f a 135 something like that uh, even the strikes there's a strikes unit from asus 
that is a little bit cheaper but has even a little bit more megahertz but nothing really to write at home about and the RX 580 actually came down quite a bit uh, the lowest price I could found was uh, 209 usually it goes about 220 24 euros in Germany I paid for mine like I think 360 or something or 340 and back then that was a good deal I got uh, way cheaper now so uh, in terms of money I mean the RX 570 is a bit cheaper but yeah it's more powerful uh, in terms of uh, dual card setup I think it doesn't really make too much sense uh, in terms of rendering and exporting speeds it seems like Final Cut 10 or Mac OS or whatever um, seems like uh, to use the more powerful card uh, doesn't really matter what is connected to the uh, screens or the screens are connected to what card doesn't really matter it might make more sense to have like two cards that are the same like two RX 580s or two 570s I might try that at some point mm, another video yeah, so what now? I'm waiting for the Vega card that comes tomorrow, I hope, and there will be another video quite soon. I do all those tests again and see and compare the numbers to the 580. And also I want to try a dual setup with the Vega and the 580. Anyways, that's it, I guess. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you kind of saw that the RX 570 is a good option that is fully supported. So go for that card. You might get a deal here and there. Uh, might be good. Anyways, um, that's it. See you in the next one that will come very soon with the Vega card. So yeah, see ya. Uh, graffiti! Ooh. Let's sit down, have a sip of hot winter uh, tea because I feel like there's a cold coming. That's not good because winter started. Anyways, so this tea is now too hot. What was I thinking? Let's start this. Is it running? I hope so. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, all right, let's do this. This goes all into the uh, end card. It's, it's made for the end card. So click here and here for new videos or other videos. All right, let's do this.